I am very tired today, but I have to get some work done here at the plot. So I have these buckets in here with wood and with some soil that I've got last year in my backyard. So I wanted to clear things up there and I decided to just throw all of this under the fig tree right over there where the wood already is. So I'm just going to add more. I'm trying to just suppress the weeds in there and hopefully this will break down eventually and help feed in the soil. I might also try to inoculate some mushrooms in there, but for now I just need to clean up my backyard because it's almost May and time is crunching. So I have two buckets in here. I have some more that I have to get in the backyard. I also have some more compost that I got. I got one more 40 pound compost bag that I just got from Brooklyn now. So I have one more. I also want to plant my zinnias out. I've been acclimating my zinnias for about a week now and we're gonna have great temperatures next week. It's gonna be very nice and warm. That's our first bite. Taking all of this dirt right over there, I'll put the compost, I'll plant the zinnias, and I'll see if there's anything else that I can do here too. Okay, so this is gonna be very simple. I'm literally just going to dump these buckets over here. There's some creeping thyme growing the edges. I want that to keep growing, but stuff that's in here is mostly weeds. So I'm just going to throw some of the stuff in here. So that's lots of forms in here. Look at that, that's really good. That will, they will help hopefully with the health of the soil here also so i'm just going to spread this here quickly nothing fancy i just if it gets a thicker layer of wood here it's fine too there's some cardboard and i need a lot of spaces in here that i can see so if i can just cover that that will be fine hopefully the worms will go down there and help breaking down this organic matter too. I'm gonna throw it. Actually, look how nice the plot looks at this time. It's so nice to film here when the sun is still out. Sometimes I come very early in the morning, late in the afternoon when it's shade. But I love coming here and seeing all of the light against the leaves. It looks so nice and green. It's so healthy. So I'm actually going to take a look at the pot before I go pick up some more wood. Look how cute these violets look. I'm actually trying to encourage them to grow more the violets and the yarrow. I've been weeding the stuff that I don't really want here. I did plant some starters in here, but I don't know if they're gonna make it, so. But I really like seeing this little purple flowers here right now. The yarrow is growing so much. The necklace is still looking very similar than last time I showed you guys over here. We got the stock almost blooming here. We have this one, is the vintage brow, so it's going to be a single one. And I have a double here that it looks like the apricot, so that's very nice. You know, it is growing slowly, slower than last year, but hopefully still have some nice flowers in this patch here. I see some buds on the shives too. There's one thing that I actually want to mention because I got so many comments about on my last video when I was talking here about the soil in the plot and I was amending these bags on this side. Lots of you guys suggested cover crops. I've actually tried cover crops in the, in the past. I didn't do anything last year, unfortunately, but I have done peas, some clover, some hairy vetch, and in fact, I still have some hairy veg growing here. I left the ones that vine through this trellis to go to seed because they actually had a really pretty purple flower and they now, they self-seeded and they're coming back now. So they're not all over the place to be, you know, green manure like moat or feed the beds, but it's nice to see them coming back. These peas here are not cover crops peas, they're sweet peas that also came back. They volunteered here from last year. But I do love the idea of doing a cover crop. I will probably do a winter one this year. Now it's a little bit too soon for me. It's too close to planting time to do a spring one for summer. So I'm just going to plant my veggies in here. But I really appreciate the suggestion. And yes, that does help a lot with the health of the soil. I also have tried mulching for everybody that suggested mulching. I have a bit of a problem with the wind. I tried using things that are available to me like leaves. I got leaves from the park. I didn't really have a chance to break them down too much to put them in bags and I stepped on them and I added them to here and they all blew through the winter. Even after good watering, they just made a mess and they didn't stay in the soil, unfortunately. 
this year I might try straw, but I heard that straw also can blow away. So we'll see. And we'll keep working in the soil health in here and see how things are gonna go this year. So we actually have a construction next door. It's been hard for me to film outside, but I'm gonna come back to just show you guys at least real quick. That's the pile that I have to shovel into the bucket. And this is where what I'm transferring to the plot. So I'm just going to do these three buckets because of the construction back in my home. I don't want to be in all that dust. So now I'm going to just finish up here by planting some zinnias in the little corner in there. I will come back to pick up the seedlings. We're going to come back here. I'll do the zinnias, do some watering, and we're good for the day. All right, so picked up the seedlings. Now let's plant them up real quick. I have water with me too. It is a little hot to water this time, but this is the only time I have to do it, so I'm gonna have to take the risk. But we're gonna plant those zinnias here. And this is a spot that I left right next to the stock. And in between the back and the asparagus. So I am not planting this whole tree here. These are zinnias and those are dahlias that I started from seed. But these are two small still. I might put a couple dahlias over there. I'll think about it. But now I really want to put the zinnias in the ground. I left this space here when I was planting the cool flowers and I also already amended with some compost. I'm going to plant them a little bit far apart from each other because I tend to always get powdery mildew through the season. I'm just going to take out the seedlings from the cells and I'm going to lay them here just to give myself a visual where I'm going to put them. Those are the florette zinnias, those are the Alpenglow variety, the one that sold out on her website. I'm very excited to see how these will look like here in the garden. So I want to make sure I just place, know exactly where I want to put them before I dig the holes and we'll see how it goes. I have eight of them here only. It's not as many. I've planted zinnias six inches apart before. I think last year I tried to do nine inches apart. I'll see here what's the farthest I can get to use to plant eight. Actually, I think I have nine. No, that's it. Well, because there are lots of roots, so it's definitely time to transplant them. And one more. All right, so let me just see what this spacing will look like here. This is handy, it's six inches, this little shovel thing. So I wanna have a little bit of space from this edge because they grow quite big, the zinnia. So maybe I'll do one here, this is, Maybe nine inches will be about here. And then I'm gonna make the one in the middle. So another there and here. I guess that's good. I think we'll just do it like this and see how it will turn out for us this season. So I'm gonna put my tag here. And just dig some holes. Not amending the soil with anything or putting any fertilizer because it just added compost in here. So hopefully they will do fine. The soil doesn't feel too dry, which is good too. So, oops. These were started by the end of March. So I think they're about four weeks old. Zinnias grow very fast. You can see how big they are from having been started that late, but hopefully that's a really good thing. Hopefully with the heat, we'll have lots of blooms kind of soon. I also plan to 
the succession sewing of zinnias a little later because I do tend to get powder mildew so I want to do another planting maybe in a few weeks I started some seeds and I'll start some more so a few weeks apart from each other to see which ones would do better Okay, they're all planted. I'm just going to give them a good watering now. I think they'll be okay even though the sun's a bit strong. Hopefully they'll be fine. It's not too hot, so I don't think it burn, it'll burn the leaves. Oh, you know what? I did say in the beginning of this video that I was going to add some compost, but I'm not going to do that today. I have to get going, so that's going to come be in another video. But this is actually the last thing I am going to be doing here and thank you so much for watching today if you're curious to see when i started the zinnia seeds i'm going to link the video right here on the side so you can watch that next thank you again and i'll see you next time